so you get tired of me. Okay, I think we're I think we're good to go. So this is Dr. Alan Weider from Massage Chair Relief, and today we are visiting with Peter Desberg, uh, one of our local customers uh, to our California store. And Peter, you recently purchased. Oh, by, by the way, thank you for being here. My even, absolute pleasure. Even in the preamble, I forgot to thank you before we actually officially got started. I do appreciate you being available. Thank I've you. I've got to be thanking you for a great chair experience. So, okay. Well, let's talk a little bit about that. Now, you you purchased the uh, Human Touch Novo XT2, which has been a, a favorite in our all of our stores for quite some time. Why don't you tell us a little bit about, or tell me, and in turn, everybody else that's watching, uh, what it was that, uh, that what attracted you to that particular chair? Um, okay, um, I will warn you first that having spent most of my life as a boring university professor, which is redundant, um, I do tend to be long-winded in storytelling. And, and I think it may be interesting to sort of tell you how I came about getting the chair, deciding on it. Um, there was a famous Scottish psychologist named McDougall, who at the turn of the last century studied creativity. And his way of working was when he started a new problem, he never read what anybody else said. He put blinders on and just said, I'm going to write down everything I can and spew because if I see what everybody else said, it puts blinders on me. So I didn't do any research on chairs or anything before I decided I want to try some chairs. So the first compliment I will give you is um, Los Angeles is a pretty big city. And I found one store that had a large selection of chairs I could try. And I wonder who that was. Happened to be in Cerritos. Uh, I'll let you take the inference from there. <laughs> um, so I went in without knowing anything, um, spoke to Michael at your store, who was an absolute delight. And you can tell him I said so. I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> I will. And he was really nice because he began by, he didn't begin by saying, how much do you want to spend? Or any, he said, what are you looking for? And basically I told him and I said, um, the very first thing I'm looking at, my chiropractor said, you need to get something that works on your glutes. Okay. So he showed me a bunch of different chairs, explained the difference between L chairs and S chairs, tried a bunch of different ones, and I found the one that I really, really liked a lot. Okay. And I tried virtually every chair in your store. Um, then I went back and started doing research. And I, I started looking at what were the best selling chairs in different price ranges. And what I kept looking for is sort of triangulation, which chair seemed to pop up on everybody's best of lists. And mine was right there. Okay. Human touch. So that made me feel really good that my experience matched what experts were saying was a good chair. Yeah. problem. Uh, and, and then the next thing I did, um, I'm one of the things I'm, I've been busy doing is finishing up the research for a new book on the psychology of persuasion. And I'm always very, very wary about when people are trying to sell me things. <laughs> and so I always figure when you're buying something, there's an asymmetrical, asymmetrical relationship between the person selling who knows all the information and the buyer, which knows almost nothing. Okay. So I started you know, talking about prices to different people and went on the internet and found the very, very best price that I could find. Yeah. But the most prominent thought I kept thinking was, Michael spent two hours of his time really trying to educate me and help me and find what I want. Yeah. So I said, if your store can get anywhere close to the best price I could find on the internet, I want to reward you guys for being so nice to me. Yeah. Um, you guys match the very, very best price that I could find, which made me feel wonderful. And the fact that he said, you guys will come out and do the labor for free forever, uh, too good to be true, made my choice really, really simple. Did, was it, um, did the fact that 
it was a local store and you were doing local commerce, did that matter to you at all? Or was it pretty much, I just want to get the best price? I couldn't find any store that had more than two or three different kinds of chairs that I could try except yours. Mm -hmm. I really, you know, going in as a novice, I mean, I'd had, okay, not really a novice. I'd had a, a Panasonic massage chair that kind of died. It was very sad. We buried it in the backyard. <laughs> A big hole there, Dick. Um, so, you know, I sort of knew about massage chairs a little bit, but I really wanted to see, you know, that was like 12 years ago that I got it and things change. Yeah. So, so, I, you know, I really wanted to, price was very secondary. I knew what I hoped to get out of a chair. And right. so that was my, my primary goal. Okay. And it was so nice to find everything I wanted in one place with somebody who was knowledgeable. And again, um, one of the things that I appreciated right off is I never felt like I was being sold. And I have to tell you, you know, studying persuasion, I'm very, very sensitive to that. Yeah. And anybody that tries to pressure me, I, I notice it really quickly. And I didn't tell you that he was, he knew a lot. He answered my questions really well. So I really, it's not often that I enjoy the buying experience. I could, I could tell you about car buying experiences that would make you cry, but this was nothing like that. It, it pleases me to hear that. Now, that is a philosophy that we actually embrace, and it starts at the top with me. I don't like those kinds of tactics. I'm uncomfortable with it. I don't like pressure. I like to make my decision, and sometimes I don't make it that day. Sometimes it takes a couple of days for it to ruminate and do the research. That happened to me. I came back, you know, a couple of weeks after I first went to the showroom. But literally, I had such a good time there with Michael, and he was so helpful. I gave him several tennis tips. Didn't even charge him for it. Tennis tips? Yes. <laughs> well, he never did mention that to me. So uh, that that is a coveted that's a coveted perk for our employees to get tennis tips. I think we fixed this forehand. <laughs> oh, good. It's about time. <laughs> now, uh, now, you said you, the chiropractor kind of recommended that you get uh, that get something like a chair, but and without, you know, you don't need to share your health history if you don't want, but what what is it uh, like, what kind of uh, symptoms did you have if you had any at all, or was it just a structural issue or what? All right. One of the things that keeps me sane is I, I play tennis three or four times a week. Mm -hmm. I play really hard, two or three hours singles at a time. So I get sore. Yeah. And I'm, I'm in pretty good shape for, you know, somebody my age, but things hurt. Yeah. And for the last couple of years, my lower back has been acting up more than usual. And that's why he kept saying a lot of this is coming from your glutes. They're too tight. Right. He had me going to masseuses, getting, getting massaged. And I don't know how my wife felt about that. Um, but uh, <laughs> But so that was that was the very first thing I was looking at, because although I liked some of the features of the uh, of the S chairs, um, I had to get something. They don't get down the glutes like the L chairs do. So right. I knew that's what I had to get. Although this one comes as close to getting what the S chairs can do as any I found. Now, we're, we're, we're throwing around terms that maybe some people watching this video don't aren't familiar with. And so let me just clarify. An S-track uh, represents a chair that has a roller track that follows the S-shape of your spine from your neck down to your low back, but it usually ends there. The L-track is a continuation of that S-track underneath the buttock, so it massages the glutes, the piriformis muscles, and it helps with things like sciatica or uh, you know hypertonic muscles in the butt area. So I want to clarify that. And, and L-tracks are very, very popular. I love L-tracks. I'm a big fan of them. Uh, the trade-off is that you can't get as good a stretch on an L-track as you can on an S-track because you can't you can't make an L-track go horizontal because it's always in the shape of an L. But I have to tell you, that's why I'm saying, but this chair, the uh, the Novo, the, the human touch one, in zero gravity mode, gets as close as anything I saw in terms of all the uh, of the L-tracks to getting that stretch. Good. That's good to hear. As I looked and, at and, uh, it. It is a challenge, but... Uh, now, uh, the, the Novo is, is, is a very good model. It's a very uh, 
it's 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 heavy with programming. You know, you notice the programs have sub programs, and you can adjust the the level of the heat. You can adjust, uh, you know, how big of a zone you want the manual massage to hit. Uh, how how much of a learning curve was it for you to learn that remote control? Was it intimidating at first, or how was it? You mean you have different programs in it? Just learning the, the chair. Just joking, just joking. Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there's more than just the demo. <laughs> yes, um, yes. It's it's laid out very logically, um, and so I, I found it pretty straightforward. the 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 one thing that I didn't like about it is I wish it was I wish the naming the nomenclature was a little more straightforward. Um, so that for the first week or so, I Xerox part of the manual uh -huh. for each of the types of massages, you know, where it says awake or, it, you know, I wish it just would have said it does this and this, this does this and this, this and this. Yeah. So the scripters were there. So that took a couple of days to, to get. But the learning curve was really quick. It was really easy. It, it's laid out very, very logically. Now, um if you were to give some advice to someone that's maybe beginning this journey of, of looking for a chair, and of course you went through quite a bit. Some people will come, go to a trade show or go to a store and just say, I, I want a chair and bang, this is it. And they'll buy it, you know, within a couple of hours. And for some people that works really good. For others like yourself, you want to do a little studying, a little homework. But after having gone through the process, any tips that you would give someone that's that's looking to get a chair? Um. Boy, I wouldn't know where to start because everybody's coming in with different expectations, different needs, different pocketbooks. Um, and the the biggest adventure I had with the chair, and the one the one thing I will caution people about is it weighs 300 pounds and is totally inflexible. <laughs> yeah. It is in the most remote corner of my house where you and I are now. We had to take it up 50 steps. Oh, around corners. Oh, yeah. I remember my delivery guys telling oh, me. Yeah. And and I have to tell you about the delivery experience. I had to have my handyman come by and take off the molding on the doors of the last room to get it into. And wow. had to stand it up. But first of all, getting my old massage chair out, um, your guys came out and couldn't have been any nicer about handling it. And then I believe it was three guys from Human Touch came in to bring it up all the stairs. It was an arduous, arduous task because of the way the house had laid out. These guys were so nice. Not one complaint. They were joking about it. Um, I gave them lots of lemonade, <laughs> kept their glucose supply high. <laughs> but, you know, I've had lots of experiences with delivery people. And I kept on expecting him to just curse and quit and say, that's enough. Bring somebody else. You know, they couldn't have been nicer. Good. And as long as it took, and it was arduous, it was just a, a nice experience. Well, I'm glad to hear that. There are, there are some uh, horrifying delivery experiences through the years that I've been in this business. And uh, uh, most of them are good, like yours. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Because I heard your, 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 your passageway to your room was quite tedious. And, and I have to tell you again, starting with um, when I mentioned, oh, by the way, 50 steps. First I got, huh? <laughs> but then I said, okay, we'll find a way. And I love the fact that everybody was positive about the experience all the way through. Yeah. And also that nobody came back and said, oh, well, you know, it's free delivery if you just, we take it in the house, but 50 steps, well, we're gonna have to, none of that stuff. Good. You guys, again, my hat's off to you if I was wearing a hat. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Now, uh, are there any things about the chair or about the use of the chair that surprised you? Like, you know what? I wasn't expect. like, I got this for my glutes, but you know what? I noticed that I, I can breathe deeper after I sit in a chair or I can sleep better. Any little subtle visceral things that may have you may have noticed? I've been, not I've been using, I mean, I've been using massage chairs for many decades. That's right. So, so it's kind of hard to surprise me. Right, but, right. But the best surprise was it did everything I wanted it to do. Mm -hmm. And what I loved is it's 
it's got the the old Panasonic chair that I had, which was pretty pricey. It did 15 minute massages and it had four basic programs. That was it. Mm -hmm. And then there was supposed to be a way you could program your own that was, I'm pretty good with manuals and stuff. It was incomprehensible, never worked for me. Um, <laughs> Thus says the university professor. Yeah. And I, you know, I, I teach combinatorial logic to my students. I know this stuff. And it was brutal. Um, this thing was so nice because you, you've got these basic programs and then you can do a variation on each one of those. Mm -hmm. And this one has five different levels of intensity, which I really like a lot. Um, and then it's got a whole different manual set up so that sometimes it's like, oh, I just want it right here on my neck. And it, it gives me a choice of, do you want it over that much of a range or that much of a range or that much of a range? Right. And again, I can make it as intense as I want. Um, I can make it narrower or wider. I mean, it's it's really, really customizable. You know, yeah. everybody has a time when they, they tweak one little part of something. And it's so nice to be able to just say, oh, a little higher, a little higher. No, no. Oh, you, you were almost on the spot. This thing, you, you guide it to the spot and it stays there. And um, I hope my wife isn't listening, but this never gets tired. <laughs> it's there whenever I want it. <laughs> well, no, no one is happier than your wife that you got this chair. I, I believe that. I've heard that many times from customers through the years. It's, yeah, it just, it does pretty much what I want it to do. That's you wonderful. Know, and, and the fact that it's so customizable is really cool. Oh, that is great. And you know what? All the chairs are, the, the, no, all the chairs have, uh, the, the 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 tools to make it customizable, but the degree of customization is what varies from chair to chair. And this chair does have quite a bit more uh, versatility in the in the, in the custom customization process. And I like that about that chair. A but lot. also, um, the question you asked before about the learning curve, um, what I really liked, and and one of the things that I looked at in all the chairs was. How intuitive is the user interface? Yeah. And the user interface here was really good. It's yeah. everything is laid out very logically, so you can figure stuff out pretty easily. Good. I like that. And yeah. you know, I think a lot of people are intimidated by these chairs. They're big, like you say, they're heavy. They've got remote controls. That people get intimidated, but the learning curve really is not that long, even for a, a more versatile chair like the Noble. But uh, yeah. I'm glad to hear. And and again. You know, I just found as I was trying the different chairs that one of the things was just basically how good does that stuff feel going on your back? And it has a really nice feel to it. Good. So I, I was super pleased. Well, thank you very, very much, Peter. I really appreciate all this input. Is there anything else that you'd like to share before we before we end our time together? Um, well, I have some concerns about Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I just, again, I just want to thank you. You've made this experience really nice. And let me assure you, I know how to complain. I'm really good at it. <laughs> and if I had complaints, I would be voicing them like crazy. And it's really seldom that from beginning to end, the entire experience is this positive. Wow. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Thank you. You know, it was... I can't find anything to complain about, which disturbs me because, again, I like to exercise that function. You know, the day ain't over yet, Peter. Well, you know, I mean, particularly what I'm looking at, I haven't, I, I haven't had the chair long enough yet, but um, I work with people who have anxiety. Yeah. As a, I, I'm on, you know, I moonlight as a clinical psychologist, and I only work with people who have stage fright, not how to get it, but how to work with it. And so occasionally I bring patients over just who have relaxation problems. I stick them in the chair. Yeah. I haven't had a chance to do with this chair yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, they'll love it. That'll, that'll cure them. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope not. <laughs> I need the money to keep paying, but um, 
<laughs> just want to make it feel a little better. Uh, no, no, no. So it's, I'm just really, really happy with it. Well, thank you. I really enjoyed visiting with you. I, I, I've had email communications with you before, but it's always a very different experience to meet people face to face. And I really appreciate it. I love it. So thank you for taking time. I know you've got a busy life and I know you've been sick for the last number of weeks. So oh, I had that horrible virus that's been going around and it didn't want to go away, but now it has. And you would have been hearing some terrible coughing. I was really good at it. Yeah, we don't want to hear too much uh, phlegm <laughs> passage. Uh, in uh, no, no. So <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling really strong again and good. So well, thank you very, very much, Peter. And uh, we'll, Absolute pleasure. Get, we'll get this video, uh, this interview uh, edited a little bit and posted. And uh, we just appreciate you helping us tell others about the experience of buying a massage. Here. This is priceless. So thank you very much. Absolutely. Okay. All right. We'll see you, my friend. Bye-bye.